Hey gang, want to welcome you all to our sneak peek of PowerShell. My name is Jacob Moran and I'm one of our live learning instructors here and I'm joined by none other, other than Jason Yates, one of our premier PowerShell gurus. How are you doing today, Jason? I'm doing fantastic. I'm, I'm so excited that you're here joining us and that you have an interest in PowerShell. Mm -hmm. You know, PowerShell is one of the greatest innovations Microsoft has brought uh, to IT administrators in a long time. It's very, very mm -hmm powerful, I guess we should say. And, and the reason why is because it really enables IT organizations to go from kind of mundane manual type of tasks, mm. kind of like if you had to fix something, right. you know, we have a lot of tools that Microsoft has provided over the years. Mm -hmm. But with PowerShell, we're able to use, um, you know, the PowerShell environment to do some of the same things, but do it with automation in mind. So mm -hmm. PowerShell is an extensive administration and automation framework. And it has some great advantages. And really, if you aren't learning PowerShell, then you're falling behind. And you'll be doing some of the same types of tasks administratively um, that you've been doing years ago when you could be doing something right. far more efficiently. Yeah, I think of PowerShell as like the difference between a screwdriver mm. and, you know, a power drill, something like those. You want the power. Exactly. exactly. And who doesn't like, you know, power tools, right? Mm -hmm. So PowerShell mm -hmm. fits right in there uh, for administrators. Now... A lot of times when we talk about what PowerShell is, mm -hmm. uh, folks think of it as just kind of like a, a, a new command line, but it's a mm -hmm. lot more than just a new command line. Well, and it's easy to see how you could get that effect. I mean, you look at it, and it, I mean, you see a command line interface, you see a little PS prompt, a little you know, blinking cursor, you think, okay, I've been here before, I've learned commands, and then found that they've been antiquated, and then learned new commands and found right. they've been antiquated. It's inconsistent. I've, I've been burned, and they're different, right? What I do at the command line, Natively, what I do in NetShell, what I do in IP config, I mean, all of these different commands that are all unique in their own way. Right. But PowerShell is taking a whole different approach because it's less of a specific set of individual commands as it is a framework. I, I, I still have access to essentially the same type of command set that I would have at the command line. But then I also have the same type of power that I would have scripting with Visual Basic, uh -huh. being able to use parameters, variables, being able to call things, loop them, count, all sorts of very cool things to do in that. Let me take a moment here, and let's draw out what we mean by this idea of a, a framework. I want you to think of PowerShell as essentially being that engine that we're going to start off with, right? That's the core tool itself. Now, how do we access this engine and actually get some, some use out of it? Well, initially, we're going to interact with it using that command line interface. So we're going to execute the commands and uh, be able to call for certain things to happen. Now, when we do that, like I said, you're going to do so using um, the ability to, again, define parameters, define uh, values, say that this is a string or a number, and, and a lot of things that are familiar to VB programmers. Uh, you also can do things that are very uh, direct and that simulate essentially the same type of options you had at the command line. But the real beauty of what happens inside of the PowerShell environment is driven by commandlets. Commandlets, yes. Well, how would you describe what a commandlet does? Well, uh, commandlets sound like, um, I don't know, like a, 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 a tasty food. But it's <laughs> <but> <laughs> <laughs> like cutlets? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, uh, commandlets, the reason they call them commandlets is because, um, I mean, there's a lot you can do with PowerShell, which is y what you're expanding here, but mm -hmm. commandlets provide us a conventional way in order to communicate to that engine and ask it to do stuff. Mm -hmm. And the way we do it is with um, a verb noun. There's this consistent way in which we communicate uh, and issue commandlets. So something like a get dash service or get dash process mm -hmm. or you know set command. So we have these standard verbs that we use mm -hmm. and these nouns, and so with PowerShell, it's more discoverable, and it's intended to be easier to learn because the commandlet has these conventional way in which it presents, um, um, you know, the way that we interact with the command. And we're going to get a chance to see that when we do a little demonstration here in just a second. But I want you to just keep that in the back of your mind that working with PowerShell is going to have the same feel whether I'm managing network interfaces, configuring right. services, configuring Active Directory, configuring System Center. It essentially is going to have the same set of tools available for you because of the con commandlet standardization. And you don't have to execute them by hand every time. These are designed to interface with uh, scriptability. So here's our S. Uh, we create these, uh, t these reusable tools 
that we can call for again and again. We can have them be essentially part of our automation system that is defined locally, might be a scheduled task, might be coming from group policy, a lot of ways that we can access those. And we also have the ability to interact with this sometimes without even realizing it. Uh, when we work with the Active Directory Administrative Center, uh, the System Center tools, Exchange tools, uh, it turns out that the that graphical environment that I'm engaging with, right. what's it doing behind the scenes? Just, just talking to PowerShell. Just talking to PowerShell right. and talking to that engine and making those commandlets happen in the background. And Microsoft, of course, is doing that, but they don't want to st it to stop there. They've, they've got this framework designed so that this is an extensible environment so that third-party vendors can interact with this and support this same set of tools. So once you learn this engine and you've got a third-party provider, like I said, it's all still based upon those commandlets. It's all still based upon that same consistent way of interacting with it. So that means that all the skills you learn to be able to manage Active Directory work right. as a skill set when you apply them in any of these different frames. Yeah, and that's where that automation comes in and the extensibility of PowerShell. And that's one of the things that makes it so popular. It's not just for server administration or just Windows administration. You also can use it for Exchange. You can also use it for Active Directory. It also supports other products as well, not just Microsoft products. Mm -hmm. And so that extensibility and that scriptability makes it immensely powerful and attractive to IT organizations. Even at the same time, there may be things that relate to Active Directory management that then affect what's going on in Exchange management, SharePoint management, right. any other service. Right. Good point. And one, one script may actually touch on commandlets that work in all those environments, and they all play with each other exactly. as long as those modules are loaded and in place. Exactly. So with our sneak peek, what we're trying to do here is give you an idea of what PowerShell is. But more than that, encourage you to come and attend our PowerShell sessions because really what that's going to do is give folks the essentials that they need to get started with PowerShell. Mm -hmm. So they can start working with it right away. And you know, so they don't have to be afraid of it any longer. Right. So no more fear, step right into it and get going. Let me show you some of my favorite commands with PowerShell. Let's see what I it looks can. like. Yeah. Yeah. So let me jump on over. And this is just meant to kind of whet your appetite a little bit and, and show you just some of the things that you can do, some of the things that Jacob was talking about here. So for instance, um, we can do something like get service. And this shows me what services are running. So you may have gone into Task Manager in the past or um, you know, use a WMI kind of query. Here I'm actually retrieving what kind of services are running and I can scroll up and down and look at this and I can see which ones are started, which ones are stopped. Mm -hmm. And notice there's a long list here. So let's say there's one in particular I'm looking for, PowerShell. Again, we can see the commandlet get-service, that uh, uh, verb now construction. But I want to look specifically for Spooler. So I'm going to do a, a wild card here. And it shows me that that print Spooler service is running. Now, mm -hmm. this is great. PowerShell allows me to chain commands together using this thing called a pipeline. So we'll talk more about this. But just to give you an idea, watch, I can do get dash service. And I can do, and actually I can just hit the up arrow and that's going to, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to remember that and I'm just going to pipe. And so that symbol right there, that pipe symbol is going to chain the command and I'm going to choose stop service. And I'm going to use tab to auto complete it. And we'll hit enter to that. And that turns that service off for me. And if I do get service again, Notice now we see that it's been stopped, mm -hmm. right? So we can chain commands together. We've got this verb now. And there's a lot more, of course, that PowerShell can do. One of my mm -hmm. uh, other favorite features is the ability to uh, use PowerShell remotely. Ooh. Yeah, so um, uh, we can do something like, um, let's do this. I'm going to clear my screen. And, and that's a good point. I should mention that a lot of the older commands, even the DOS era commands. They've, they've been aliased in the PowerShell, exactly. right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, you've worked in the command line for years, um, that's not wasted knowledge. You can still <laughs> use a lot of those commands in the PowerShell console. So I'm, I, you know, I just did a clear screen there. Now what I want to do is do invoke command. And this is going to allow me uh, to issue a command to another machine. So I'm going to just do this little command here called script block. And I want to do get service. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to pass the get service commandlet, but I'm going to pass that to a computer on my network called manage one. All right, so I'm issuing this command over the network. We'll hit enter to this, and we'll see what services are running on manage one. Look at that. And then yeah. I, I can stop 
um, the spooler service. Because that's all what's tucked into that script block, right? That exactly. You're just, you're just kicking that over to that remote server saying, hey, you. Now, is that is that a security issue? Am I worried about that? Or are there ways to protect this as well? Yeah, so there's built-in security with PowerShell. It's going to use Windows authentication. It can use certificates. And there's one last thing I want to show folks, and that has to do with uh, um, automation with Windows PowerShell. So okay. let me actually stop this uh, um, part of the demo here and clear my screen. And so the next thing I want to show folks is you can actually do batch operations. So what's a typical task that has to be done in any organization? How about um, make a new users in Active Directory? Exactly. You've got to do that all the time. Right, so you, you, if you're doing that, you know, one at a time, that can be pretty tedious. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Yep. So let me just give one example of how you can use PowerShell to help automate that process. So what I've got here is I've got this text file uh, with some famous poets in it, and I've got that information. So just imagine this is coming from an HR database, right. and we have to provision these users. And one of the things that I can do is I can use PowerShell to import these users. And there's a command called import CSV. And the first thing I need to do is navigate to that folder. So we'll navigate to uh, folders called import. And we'll grab that t file. Mm -hmm. And then again, we can chain these commands to the together. So I'm going to do new AD user. And it's going to create for me those user accounts. So I'm going to hit enter to this. Great. So just to verify this, we're going to use good old-fashioned Active Directory users and computers. <laughs> of course, we can verify this in PowerShell or using uh, other methods. But this is one that you guys are pretty familiar with, I'm sure. So we'll just do a quick refresh on this. And if we click here in Users, you can see we've got those users right there. There's one account there. Mm -hmm. There's Robert Frost, <laughs> Robinson Jeffers right there. So you can see how quickly I was able to create these user accounts. And just imagine... The other tasks involved provisioning their, their mailboxes. I mean, anything that's standardized, you basically just showed that if that's already in a text file, import.csv is f just to bring it into memory. Then it, you pipe it into whatever is the recipient of that commandment, right? Exactly. Oh, that's crazy big. It's cr absolutely. <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> that's big. That's awesome. Yeah, we're back to the power drill here. Yeah, we are. Right? Okay. All right. So... Uh, I look forward to uh, doing that uh, PowerShell class mm -hmm. with folks so that they can learn these essential skills and get started using PowerShell, saving themselves time and, and moving into that uh, next era of efficiency. That's right. So look forward to helping you all save some time with PowerShell. Thank you.